dusty. Time to put a new uh, a new fan on. This is annoying. All right, turn it off, please. Yep. I know I say new fan. Yeah. Well, I have to go see what I have. Try a stock room. Okay. Otherwise, known as a junk room. You have to get in here anytime, anyway. So. Yeah. It's a lot I can do it right away. It's really cold outside. No. No, I didn't mean that. You say one other apartment has this thing? No, 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 no. I had a heating problem in another apartment. I had to adjust a switch. Just a coincidence that I had two, well, heating problems. When do you have them? When it's really cold outside. Well, yes. Yeah, that would be. Huh. It's only a couple years old, this fan. Two, three years, four years. Oh, well. Nothing's ever simple. So I went back to the building across the street. I got the switch off this heater, the old Radley heater. This switch is supposed to turn the heater on, the fan on, when the element is hot. So it died and I got a new one that turned it on right away. Whatever. Allows a $10 switch and $6 shipping and handling. So I put it on and I hooked it up and it turned on right away like the old one. But the element's not getting hot. The element's not getting hot, which is why that switch is working correctly, is not turning the heater on, turning the fan on. So, back to the drawing board. I'll pull it off again. I already zapped. <sighs> Breakers are in the basement, far into the basement. Bad spot. Should be in the apartment, but they're not. Anyways, I'll pull it apart, put the proper switch on, and I'll change the element because for some reason this element's not working. It was on for 15 minutes and it's still blowing cold air and you can't see that on YouTube. What a pain to bother. PIA. <sighs> Alright, so much for a 10 minute job. There's the new one that turns on too quickly. There's the dust on the old one. Here's the new heater with the old element installed and I'll spark it and see if the element gets hot. Oh yeah. There we go. Playing with live electricity. That's fun. My friend in uh, the Tendenoid, San Francisco is installing a hundred and something windows. Can you see that? Is that? Hmm. Hope you can see it. Uh, look at it live. As I said, my friend in the Tendenoid. Remember that video? When I went to San Francisco to get my SF sub? We stayed at a Motel 6 in the Tendenoid. I made a video in the morning when I went up for a walk. 8 or so o'clock in the morning. A walk mugs or ladybugs or whatever. I think it was same time we got ladybugs. I think we got, I think we got mugs, rather. I think we got mugs. 
2005. Yeah, I would have had mugs and ladybug. Anyhow, I went for a walk and I said, I, in the video, oh, I feel the heat. In the video, I said, I don't even know where I am. And from behind, I hear, you tend to go. And so I walked around the rest of the time. There we go. Look at that. The rest of the time that I made that video, I walked around and went, you tend to go. I get lots of comments on that video. It's got multiple thousands of hits. Woo, it's hot here. I'm going to turn this thing off. Yeah, well, that element is no good. Joke. So, go type in Corbin or Wild Tenderloin, San Francisco. And you can watch that video I made back in 2007, I guess it was. And you can read all the nasty comments I get. <laughs> All right, with the tenderloin.